Brand new major order dropped the other night. We got two urgent rescue missions face us at once. Survivors in the Children's Hospital are trapped under burn wells. Explosive critical for the MB-17 anti-tank mine are trapped on Marfark. Only the citizens or weapons on the first liberated planet are likely to be saved. I swear only in Helldivers 2 you're gonna see the most stupidest, dumbest shit like this. It's still much welcomed. If you guys do have a personal order, I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but mine's 100, enemies tilted a flamethrower, 15 medals. Um, at the time of 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the battle pass has not dropped just yet. I think it will probably drop in the next hour. But that's all I wanted to go over. Next part of this will be the patch notes. Enjoy. Hello guys. Just like in the patch notes, just like everybody was hinting at the Discord server, the patch notes have dropped today. They are a huge, huge update. I do apologize for my voice. It's a little irritated. I kind of lost my voice a little bit. So it says, Jonathan Pellistoti here, now in Chief Creative Offer position at Arrowhead. First, I want to thank the community for clearly voicing your opinion and concerns for balance, fun of the game. With that, we've gone over a lot of weapons and stratums balances in our latest patch. We wanted to share with you a little more information on the decision we've made. So we have the first up thing, we have the A slash MLS 4X Rocket Century. The old intent was to saturate an area with rockets, but it made it too inconsistent against medium and large enemies. We want to make it more consistent against medium and large enemies. To give it a better ammo economy to separate it from an auto cannon center that has the highest damage output. But can waste ammo by shooting targets that are already dead. The A slash MG43 machine gun sentry, the machine gun sentry felt like it was a worse version of the Gatlin sentry. We wanted it to have a different place in the toolbox. We've lowered the cooldown, make it more available, more useful when change of often change of positions. <clears throat> the AMG-43 machine gun sentry, the A-16 Gatling sentry, the AMLS rocket sentry, the A-ACA autocan sentry, the AM-12 mortar sentry, the AM-23 EMS sentry. The sentry turns in the game were a little too easily killed by bullets flying in chaotic situations. That I can confirm. I've dealt with it on missions, live streams, everything. So it says we've increased the durability factor of turns to make them more resistant to small arm fire. The MG 101 HMG replacement is intended to be a way of defending a fixed position, but due to its mobility and drawback that presents the slow rotation speed, with a little bit too much of an additional drawback. Therefore, we have increased in speed significantly. The MD-6 anti-personal minefield, the MD-14 incendiary mines. The minefields are supposed to be strong, but volatile, a way of blocking off certain approaches for the limited time. They are currently not very good at filling this role. We are looking for more. We will be looking at more of them at, in the future, it says possibly increasing damage to at least prove their effectiveness against targets trigger them. The Orbital Gatling Mirage was not effective at dealing damage with specific targets. We want it to be better at saturating the target area, also be able to do damage against heavy armored units. It's still not very likely to outright kill heavy ar armored units, but should be able to soften them up a bit. We've lowered the cooldown and make it more available and make it more competitive in comparison to Eagle Stratagem. The Orbital Precision Strike, one of the ones I personally use, I love using, it's really fun to use. It says, it was originally intended was to be used against spawners in fixed positions, however, this hasn't stopped the community from using it pretty much against everything. Typical Helldivers community, therefore we want to make it a little easier to use against moving targets by lowering the call, lowering the call time, we've lowered the cool town to make it more available, to make it more competitive in comparison to Eagle Stratagem. Why the hell does everybody use the Eagle Floor? Is like that the new meta? That's crazy. The Orbital Air Burst Strike. Originally intended it was going to block the area for a short duration and kill most non-heavy armored enemies in the area. It was unperforming compared to other anti-shaft options have a very low rate of use. Now the Orbital Air Strike, I've used it here and there. It's kind of crappy, that's why I don't use it too much. To make it more attractive, Opinion, we've lowered the cooldown, which should also make it more competitive in comparison to the Eagle Stratagems. The Eagle 1110 Rocket Pods were very inconsistent in dealing with main targets, heavily armored enemies. 
The changes we are aimed to make, it's more consistent at dealing with these targets, but it will still not be so, so far away of outright killing them. It should never always soften up a target in some way. We are interested in hearing feedback on how this one now feels, or open to tweaking them further. The Eagle Strafing Run. Eagle Strafing Run is supposed to be a tool to effectively deal with small groups of medium armor enemies. To that end, we've increased armor penetration to be able and reliable penetration in medium, medium armor targets soften up heavily armored enemies. We expect to tweak this further in the future as Eagle Rocket Pods. We are very interested in your feedback. Now we have the Grenade Launcher next. The GL-21 Grenade Launcher is intended to be good at softening up horde of enemies and providing utility for destroying spawners. While it's so good at destroying spawners and explosions, was a little too weak and reliable damage its media enemies. The change in its explosion damage should put it in a better place when it comes to dealing with some effective enemies to medium and armored enemies. The MG machine gun has failed to deliver on the fantasy of the heavy machine gun. When it was released, it had a weak round with lower damage and impact. While the fire rate was up levels, more likely seen on similar MGs. The HMG intended to be a great option to deal with medium armored enemies. They shoot them and chew them up easily similar to the HD replacement. We are lowering the rate of fire further to resemble the fire rate seen in uh, Connor uh, Paracy weapons, a similar type, increasing the damage, stagger so that each hit is significantly. This should also make it available ammo last longer. The MG machine gun intent of was it should be a great cloud clearing weapon that's a ability to tackle medium arm enemies. The drawbacks of the machine guns are that you still have to sit while reloading and made it hard to um, compete. The stalwart's mobility. Therefore, we lean into strength and it's reduce its drawbacks, slightly improve valuable position of the weapon. To that end, we are lowering the reload time, giving an additional magazine. It's also receiving a buff damage described below. Oh no, I see the I see the X. So I don't like that. The MG43 machine gun, the AMG43 machine gun, Century A G16 Gatling Century, the XO45 Patriot, the XO Gatling gun. The family of machine gun stratagems that use the AMM rifle were unperforming in Slayer, so we have therefore increased the damage slightly. Yo, that sounds good. The durable damage for rifle calibers, small arm fires in the game does less damage to durable parts. However, many small parts were doing the same damage percentage. Not lar largely impacting the rifle type round, we should have compared it to other types there for the rifle type bullets are now slightly more effective against durable body parts. These effective changes are going to affect the AR-23 Liberator, the M105 Stalwart, the ax ar AR-23 Guard Dog, the AR-23 Liberator con Concussive, the R-63 Digilance, the BR-14 Adjugator, the AR-61 Tensorizer, the MG-43 Machine Gun, the MG-343 Machine Gun, the AG-16 Gatlin Sentry, and the XO-45 Patriot Gatlin Gun. So now we have the BR-14 Adjugator with relatively a few rounds in each magazine combined with a wild recoil. Let's players no room for error which didn't feel good for an assault rifle type weapon. We've increased the magazine capacity to make the more weapon more forgiving for mistakes, encourage a more aggressive playstyle. Remember the short controlled burst. The AR-61 Tenderizer was released in a non-represented state as used in correct stats. Did have its own niche and felt like a worse liberator, restoring justice and bringing it back to its intended design, which is very precise assault rifle that rewards a high accuracy play by having a hitting rounds that doesn't penetrate medium armor enemies. The plasma 101 perf uh purifier? The original idea behind the purifier was to create a scorcher variant with a charge up mechanic. Unfortunately, since the projectiles didn't have enough armor penetration against medium armor enemies, even direct hits. Didn't deal enough enemy damage to justify its long charge up time. We're increasing the armor penetration of projectiles, reducing damage fall off. Explosions we have to make up exotic options that is viable to compatible hands. The sneak be explosive crossbow. It says it didn't do enough damage similar. So they're lowering the armor penetration of the projectiles. And making both projectile and explosive penetration to medium armor enemies. This should make the crossbow more consistent against medium-sized targets and increase the AOE visibility. The R36 Eruptor. 
previous patches we removed the shop no from explosions as it made the eruptors build despite damage too much for a primary weapon now it says they're adding back the shrapnel low visibility of shrapnel <clears throat> so they're doing a little bit better on it they're also giving the eruptor 150 more damage per explosion other update recoil stance modifiers So it says, the attention of recall modifiers will reward usage of different stances in relation to different weapon types. They've also third person stand, stationary 100% change, moving 150%, no change. Crouch is 50%, so 60% stationary. I don't know what these mean, it's kind of complicated to get prone, is uh, 50 to 40%. Scope stand is stationary to 100% to 90%. Um, that pretty much goes over the whole patch. If you guys did enjoy, like, and subscribe.